Well, I'm still in my work in the Pennsylvania Department of Health, and I have been asked to estimate the mean, on average, the mean number of calories that males in Lancaster County eat per day. So I've taken a sample of 125 males, counted how many calories they've eaten for the day, and I would like to get an estimate of that. So I could, of course, find the mean of this sample easily by going to stat, basic statistics, display descriptive statistics, something that uh, would have been done much earlier, and say, OK, I put calories in as the variable, and I can find out that the mean number of calories that these men eat is 2,005.5. But that's not good enough. If I'm being asked to estimate a parameter, of course I'm going to want a confidence interval. So let's work. Let's create a 95% confidence interval. Yes, I have the point estimate, 2005.5, but I want the confidence interval. I want to give a range so that I can be 95% confident that the true value falls within that range. How do we do that in Minitab? Well, I'm still going to go to Stat Basic Statistics. But this time, I am not going to just display descriptive statistics. This is a certain kind of statistical test, and I have to think about this. I am looking for a mean, but I do not know the population standard deviation. So I am going to have to use the t distribution. This is called a one sample t. I'm going to use the t distribution, and I only have one sample. I'm only looking for the calories of a sample of men, so I'm going to say one sample. So again, this is one where I could give it the data directly in a sample, in a column, which is what I have, or I could give it summarized data. I'm going to give it in the column. So let me tell Minitab which column it's in. Well, it's in column C1 calories and click my options if I needed to change my confidence level, which I do not, 95%. Again, I will leave my alternative hypothesis as not equal. When I'm doing parameter estimation, I don't really have an alternative hypothesis. I just want to leave it at not equal. And I'm going to say OK. And Minitab is going to find it for me. So it told me there's the mean. That's my best point estimate, 2005.5. It also gave me my standard deviation. But what I care about is this confidence interval. With 95% confidence, the mean number of calories ingested daily by Lancaster County, oh, I should probably capitalize that, males is between 1950.4 calories and 2060.7 calories excellent work